So I'm starting with a sketch on a green ground. This isn't meant to be a thing of beauty, it's just a map of the painting's major landmarks. Obviously I could just trace my reference image, but I always like to practice my observation skills. And I feel it's um, better for the mind and soul. The next stage I move on to is going to be blocking in. And here I'm using a, a large rough textured brush. And what I'm doing is creating a, a map of tones and values, which I'll be relying on for the remainder of the painting. I'm staying away from the darkest and lightest values because I can bring these up in detail later and I don't want to go there at this stage. I won't ever fully paint this layer out, uh, nor will I ever completely overpaint the green ground as all of this will contribute towards the final painting. I start next on the detail and I begin with the eye. And then I move on to the fur, and I'm using the Furry Clumps brush which I created for a previous painting, Terence, and uh, you'll find the video for that somewhere else on my channel. I've always had a bit of a problem with lions. I started a number of lion projects and eventually given up with a combination of frustration and boredom. And I don't know why this should be. I mean, there's no doubting that they're beautiful and majestic creatures. And I really enjoy painting all other members of the cat family. But I was leafing through some reference images, which I had licensed from the wonderful Jason Morgan. And I came across this one. And I thought, with a bit of cropping and a bit of manipulation, this could be a painting I could get excited about. The flow on my fur brush is controlled with pressure and that allows me to create an uh, appearance of softness. The meat on this painting was probably the most challenging bit. I'm trying to get across the differences between the fat and the sinew and the bone and the muscle. Um, presented quite an interesting challenge. My original sketch for this was quite loose and I had to uh, rework it as I went. But I found that by breaking it down and working in small stages, I was able to get quite a realistic effect, particularly on the wet sections with the pin sharp highlights. I plan to uh, take this painting further and uh, recreate it as an oil painting. So um, you can look forward to that in the near future. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll be back for the next one.